Aloha, this is Karambi Davis of Karambi Realty International. Good morning and very excited um, to talk about what sellers can expect in today's marketplace. And I thought it'd be rather fun to have a crystal ball because we probably know as much as we all know. But I'm going to give you a little bit of insight in my world, you know, uh, helping sellers, you know, 24-7 and what I'm seeing out there in the marketplace. So I thought I'd give you some feedback. Um, you know, one of the first questions often we get, uh, you know, when someone asks us, how's the market? Is it a good time to sell? And the answer is yes, it is. Um, my philosophy on this, if you're thinking of, you know, making some life uh, style changes in the next couple of years, you may seriously want to look at um, selling now. Uh, after that, I would say we'll see how things settle down. But we are still seeing, um, first thing is multiple offers. There are certainly um, multiple offers on properties in the luxury market still. Uh, of course, showing demands higher than supply. Uh, prices are still strong. But, um, you know, I believe here in the near future, we won't see the huge gains that we've seen in the last three to months. But we've We've definitely had some new price points in all the different luxury neighbourhoods where it's a healthy market for a luxury home, home seller to sell right now. Um, you know, what we're seeing right now, instead of, you know, we used to say, OK, have all offers in by Monday and we would expect maybe half a dozen offers. Well, right now, sometimes we're only getting one or two offers. So the pool of buyers is definitely a little different than it was um, four months ago. And, you know, when we talk about the luxury market, I know um, listeners who follow me each week, we always talk about the su supply and demand in the different um, price ranges. So one of the, um, two of the price ranges I'll compare to each other, uh, what I see seeing right now, we talk about the 1.8 million uh, to the 3 million price range. Well, today there's 77 active listings and a year ago there were 62 active listings. My experience in that price um, price range is that a lot of people rely on mortgages in that price range and as we all hear interest rates uh, definitely have gone up they're at about 5.3 percent uh, today um, and probably more in the high fives for a luxury home and basically that buys you a lot less um, of a you know of a down payment in terms of the um, if your payment per month, your payment goes up substantially. So we're seeing houses sit on the market a little bit. I'm also seeing in that price range, houses that need work uh, are, are definitely sitting on the market uh, with prices of um, building materials going up rapidly. Uh, the fact that our, you know, our world is such a global world and we're so interconnected right now. Uh, the um, you know, I just wanted to say too, something else that I've seen happen here um, this month is I'm sure everyone's heard it, of the new uh, short-term vacation rental policy. It, it used to be no policy, then it was 30 days, and now they've changed it to 90 days, and that'll be effective October 23rd this year. And I've had first-hand experience. I had a very higher-end luxury um, buyer looking to buy. He's been looking for the last three years. And he was looking at some homes in beachfront on the island and he has opted not to buy. It's not like he's buying it for a, a short-term vacation rental, but of course, someone who's only going to use that house two or three months a year doesn't want it sitting there without generating some cash flow to cover the costs of it. So unfortunately, we are losing some business that way. Uh, I also noticed uh, over the past two weeks, three homes in the eight to 12 million price range coming off the uh, coming out of escrow, they were in escrow and they actually fell out of escrow. And I have to wonder if that's the reason also, um, but I'm definitely seeing it may, uh, this new uh, short-term vacation rental going out the door, it may affect our like, super higher luxury uh, property sales. Uh, the um, buyers from Asia aren't here yet, um, you know, that's always in the back of my mind for appreciation still on a lot of um, properties. However, when will they get here? We've just had this, um, you know, COVID cases have increased drastically in all the countries all over the world. We've heard about the lockdowns in China. So that, you know, I'm seeing a few Japanese buyers showings right now on our Trump Tower in Waikiki. Uh, but it's certainly not at the philosophy that we're used to. Uh, the U Ukraine war, of course, which is uh, just 
heartbreaking for all of us and um, the uncertainty, the escalation, uh, countries all over the world being involved, um, being at risk of maybe having war in their own countries. Um, there's a lot of unknowns right now, definitely. And, uh, but still a positive environment for the luxury market, but probably just not as bold in terms of people uh, risking a lot. Um, inflation, of course, I know um, personally we've gone out to eat and wow, new prices on food right now, gas prices. Uh, so we're getting used to a new uh, cost of goods out there, of course, and um, that can affect someone's ability to uh, buy a luxury home. Of course, people paying cash. Uh, do I take my money out of the stock market right now? And of course, we've had a bit of a hit on the stock market. So it's it might be a good idea to buy some homes right now if you can find a good deal. And talking about good deals, they're definitely still out there. Um, what I'm seeing right now is there is a couple of uh, listings this week. I saw adjust their prices. And when I asked why, uh, the broker who's selling the home said, oh, well, the interest rates are going up. Uh, I don't have that philosophy personally myself, as I believe, you know, there's um, different buyers out there where it won't affect their buying purchasing power. But generally speaking, I would say the pool of buyers is in abundance, but there's still buyers out there willing to pay today's prices. Uh, the um, other option I wanted to let you know also is the, you know, it's like, how does the home show? I, I think, you know, I think emotionally you have to really be careful about how you position your house on the market right now and have your broker handhold it all the way through uh, because, you know, people are, when there's uncertain times in the economy, people are a little more sensitive. The uh, buyers, we're certainly getting local buyers and there's a lot of businesses out there that are making a lot of money, even with the inflation. So to make a long story short is, it's still a very healthy market uh, because we've set precedents and new prices in, in the luxury market in all the different neighbourhoods. I believe we can still use those prices as landmarks for appraisals for other properties selling. Um, if you look in the price range of the three to six million dollar price range, uh, we actually have less inventory. Right now there's 50 active listings and a year ago there were 63. Very active price range. And also in the 10 million plus, there's 16 active listings today and a year ago, 28. So right now, yes, it is a great time to sell, but just be a little mindful of how to, how to present, show your property, communication um, between what the seller's broker and the buyer's broker, very, very important. So I hope that offers some insight and inspiration. And on that, if you're out and about, um, you know, I think everyone's getting a little more social and uh, Marianne's got her photos that I'll just bring up. And she bring, uh, she mentions this to be the, let me just put it here. This is the spring, fresh colors of spring provide wardrobe and decorating inspiration. She um, labels this. Purple, green, a fresh and lovely combination, of course. A colourful parakeet friends are flying display of primary colours, blues and greens with a pop of red. You know, think of all the different tropical outfits you could wear as we head into summer as well. And of course, orange, the eye-catching eye inspiration. An orange suit, how about an orange suit with a bubble gum pink top, perhaps she puts. And the shades of white, shades and textures of white create a sophisticated decorating plate. I guess I just love, love the white flowers out there. Anyway, everyone have a wonderful weekend. Much mahalo for joining me this morning. And um, here's to a busy summer and hope you're getting all your life and goals put into order. And we're here to help with anything we can. Much mahalo.